What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. You guys have been giving me loads of feedback as of late, wanting Town Hall 8 content. Now, I haven't done any Town Hall 8 in a long time, and you're seeing an account on the screen right now, which used to be my Town Hall 8. Let me explain to you guys really quickly what's going on with this account. Now, in CWL and other high-level leagues, in order for you to be in the clan, you have to be Town Hall 9 or above because of the rules which, you know, Town Hall 8s can simulate attacks uh, by building bases and having no cooldown on the friendly challenge. So, to get around that, I upgraded my Town Hall right here to Town Hall 9 and literally have done nothing else on this base. So the offense, uh, the defense, like for example, the Clan Clack Castle still has 25 slots. Uh, the King, still level 10. All the Town Hall 8 defense still intact. No new defenses dropped. If you go to the, the shop, you can actually go to the defenses here and see that I have purchased nothing from Town Hall 9. Uh, so, just wanted you guys to know that this is a Town Hall 8 account with a Town Hall 9 Town Hall, which kind of sucks for rating because when I go search for bases, I now get matched up almost exclusively with Town Hall 9, so I don't have as much to choose from. That being said, we have some Town Hall 8 raids for you today. I'm gonna show you guys an attack strategy uh, that I've been covering quite a bit over the last week. That is going to be the Dragloon at Town Hall 8, and it is beast, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna show you guys exactly what to look for and how to do it. So first base up, we are gonna pause it really quickly because I gotta break down exactly what we're looking for, guys. We are looking for bases with air defenses that have reliable pathing. Uh, you really wanna take note of the fact that at Town Hall 8, only one air sweeper exists, and that air sweeper is absolutely key uh, to your attack strategy, and I'm gonna show you guys why that's the truth here in just a few minutes. I've got a fail to show for you. Uh, where I attacked from the side of the air sweeper on purpose uh, because it looked like it might have been high value, but I'll show you guys that in just a minute. So first and foremost, figure out where that air sweeper is. You can see it's right here in the center of the base. Look at which direction it's pointing and the area that it covers. It's covering the bottom part of the base, so logic tells you, let's attack from the top. So uh, from the top it is, and then you want to make sure that you are pathing. Uh, you want to get to these air defenses as quickly as possible. You can use your dragons for that, but more appropriately, you want to plan for your balloons to be taking out those air defenses. What about the clan castle? Clan castle troops are not as important with the dragon strategy. No lure is typically performed, but I recommend taking a poison spell, so in case you get surprised with clan castle troops, like in this raid right here, uh, you can drop that poison, and typically it will slow down whatever comes out enough for your dragons to quickly take care of the clan castle troops, making them not really a threat. The other spell I would recommend that you take is an earthquake spell. Soften up some of the higher hit point buildings in the base, uh, such as the town hall, air defenses themselves, uh, wizard towers, you can soften up those buildings by dropping the Earthquake spell on them. That allows your dragons to work through them much quicker and gain momentum as they push through the base. So let's go ahead and watch this. Look at the army composition. Nine dragons, four balloons in the camps, and then in the CC you want to take maxed out balloons if you can do it. Now, notice where I put my first few dragons as well as my king. What I'm trying to do here is funnel. So the king comes down on one of the sides to make it so the dragons will not stray away from the air defenses that they will ultimately be targeting here. So you're gonna see me come from both sides on the top, creating a nice little funnel so the dragons do not stray, and I'm gonna come in directly from 12 o'clock with the balloons, and I'm gonna time them so the air defenses should be locked onto the dragons, uh, but the balloons are actually going to uh, be doing the, the damage here. So you can see that air defense fires at the dragons. Only two shots get off on the dragons before the balloons get in and take it out. And pause really quickly. There's the earthquake spell softening up the CC, the town hall, mortars, etc. A couple of air defenses as well. But notice the clan castle troops coming out, guys. That is... Uh, like, a little bit scary for some of you, but it's okay. Just drop the poison spell, guys, and then uh, you're going to see the balloons go in there. Poison spell is already down. Dragons go and quickly take it out. They are down. 
Now, supporting your balloons with a heal spell later on in the raid is huge. If you can get them to an air defense, especially if the heal spell heals them up after the air defense is down, that is massive because they'll just cruise through the rest of the base taking everything out. Uh, this base got absolutely smashed. Only at one or two air targeting defenses left in the base. You've got archer towers on the sides here. So that's the only, only big threat. Uh, but guys, the only real threats to you in a Town Hall 8 base with regards to air are the air defense, the air sweepers, and seeking air mines. Seeking air mines, you just got to understand that you're going to lose a couple of dragons to the seeking air mines at some point during the raid. So you got to make sure that you execute your funneling well and make sure that the troops are able to path through the base effectively. Uh, and, you know, those seeking air mines aren't as tragic of a loss. So that was a symmetrical base. Um... Mid-level defense, not maxed out or anything. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a, a base that's, uh, you know, fairly high level uh, for Town Hall 8, but also not symmetrical. Um, it's got a symmetrical design, but like the air defenses are not, you know, the, the air defenses are the symmetry that you're really looking for, um, not necessarily the other stuff. The other stuff, symmetry there just helps pathing. It's kind of more reliable. So again, looking at this base, you gotta understand where are you looking to attack and how do you figure out which side of the base that you wanna hit. Now, logic would say, well, look at these two air defenses super close together. Wouldn't it be easy to send balloons into that area, take them out, so send maybe the dragons from the bottom? Uh, normally when you're looking at air defenses, you wanna come from the side that is nearest to the air defenses. In this particular base, the air sweeper is way up here on the top left and it's covering the direction of all three air defenses. So rather than come from the bottom where you're going to be fighting that sweeper the entire raid, uh, why not come from the top where you're coming in from behind the air sweeper from the top left and then start your dragon raid so that it comes from the top right over here. So a few troops, a few dragons to funnel uh, on the top left and ultimately get in there and take out that sweeper and this uh, archer tower here. And then send in the balloons from the top right as well as the dragons. Um, over here is a great spot to funnel with the king. If you drop the king, notice uh, you can take out this elixir pump. You can take all this stuff out over here. The dragons will then path into this air defense. If you, pat, if you drop enough dragons over on the right side and take out these few buildings here, uh, the balloon pathing should go right through the core uh, to these other air defenses and it should work out great. So I'm going to fire up the video here. You see the king come in first. That's kind of the first step, guys. You want to start the funnel and make sure that the uh, dragons are going to go where you want them to. So I'm working on the other side as well because I know it's going to take some time to get to the air sweeper. A few dragons there are going to get the, uh, the job done working their way in. We are locked onto the archer tower over there, and that's really the only air targeting threat. So now, as you can see, I've got my dragon set up. There's a good little funnel started on the left. The archer tower is about to go down. Next is the cannon. Uh, air sweeper. We've got the uh, the town hall over there. These guys uh, over here are going to get shot at a little bit by this first uh, level six air defense. Uh, that is not ideal, but we're going to back them up with balloons here in just a moment right there. And those balloons are going to join forces here with these guys. And you're going to see the rage spell come down and they are going to work their way through very quickly taking out the air defense. Now guys, look at the dragons down here, how they've pathed down and they're taking all this stuff out. Look at the pathing now for the balloons th through the base, straight through to the other air defenses. Look at this second rage spell goes down and a healing spell just like that. All of those balloons back up to full health. Poison spell goes down for any air skellies that you could encounter if you still have it after the CC encounter. Um, just kind of having that there is nice. Notice I forgot to drop my earthquake spell altogether. This all developed quickly as far as the, the funneling was concerned. So we get everything taken out. No big deal at all. Really, really kind of an easy raid, uh, you know, getting the dragons in there and taking uh, the base down. So that is another example of the Dragloon at Town Hall 8. Now, Let's see, uh, let's see another one. Let's go, let's go here, check this one out. And this again is more of a symmetrical base design. And you guys <laughs> didn't pause it fast enough there. You know where the king comes in. Why is he going in over there? He's creating the funnel, right? And he's creating the funnel on the side that the dragons will enter on most often. So the dragons are going to enter from the left side of this base. And if he takes out these buildings over here, that means that uh, everything should go to this air defense because we're coming from behind the air sweeper. Terrible air sweeper placement, uh, Mr. Mjatno. Uh, 
you know, he, he can do better on that. So if you guys are building a base with air defense, make sure you guys have the air sweeper in the center uh, or somewhere close to the center that's covering other air defenses and key uh, buildings. This just doesn't do a good job. So we're going to exploit that, come from behind uh, the base here. So here comes the dragons, make them a little funnel. King's going to walk down the side of the base. I dropped a dragon to support him just to keep the funnel narrow. Of uh, trying to take out these buildings over here with that and then force my balloons my dragons in and you're gonna see that I focus on the right side of this base with my balloons now the dragons kind of go to the top watch the balloons here and at this point I mean you kind of know where the first rage spell is gonna go uh, it's typically at that first air defense to get yourself through pretty quickly now you have a choice there's two air defenses remaining in the base, and you have to identify uh, the pathing to get to each one and where is best served to use your final rage. And for me, uh, I like to bring a heal spell to kind of keep everything up on the backside as well. You could choose to bring a third rage spell. It doesn't honestly matter too much. I prefer the, the heal, especially if you have access to max level balloons, because those are just absolutely devastating. So I choose here to use my rage and heal on the, the balloons, and notice where I drop it. Uh, you got to pay attention to pathing and how there's a defense here, a defense here, a defense here, and here. So I want to I want to make sure that my spells are going to cover these areas. There is the heal spell, and you can see how it covers the Tesla, the mortar, the cannon. So the whole time those guys are over there, they're inside of the heal, and as they leave, uh, that's a lot for the the backside point defense and even the splash towers to try to deal with. Um, especially the higher level balloons. The wizard tower has no chance. Um, dragon takes out the air defense on the top, and we still have like five dragons on top of each other, uh, just wrecking the base. Balloons survive. We're going to get things taken out. Absolutely crush the base. So I've got two more examples for you guys. The next one's going to be a fail. I want to show you guys why it's important to come in from the side of the air sweeper that is, you know, the, you don't want to come in from behind it, always. So... Here is an example of why you don't. Now, this base looks ripe for the picking. We've got two air defenses over on this side, and I see two army camps in the corner here. Like, if I destroy this building, this building, and this building, uh, that makes a nice runway straight to the air defense over here for my dragon. Same thing over here. This building and this building, uh, we get those taken out, and again, straight to the air defense. So I'm like, oh, I'll exploit that. Uh, I'm going to go right at that side and look right here. This air defense covering this direction, that will come back to haunt me. So the first thing that happens is we're going to drop the king in to get that funnel created on the right side of the base. Taking out the army camp is key. We're going to drop in a dragon over there as well. And the reason for that is there's a whole lot of trash out there that is outside of the range of really anything. Uh, unfortunately here, a P.E.K.K.A. comes out of the CC, kills my king. Uh, what a meanie, right? So funnel created. We have our uh, our dragons on both sides get the army camps dealt with, and look at this. We've got so many dragons going right at this air defense. We'll fast forward a little bit. Here comes the balloons, and notice over here on this side, we've already got the air sweeper giving us grief, pushing us back. Dragon on the air defense, and unfortunately, yeah, it's 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 bad, guys. So they take some shots here, and look at all of these balloons, and where would they path next, right? I thought, oh, they'll path straight to this air defense here, and I'll get the last air defense in the base taken out. We'll get the air sweeper taken out. It'll be glorious, right? Well, wrong, because the next thing that happens is this uh, this <laughs> puff of air pushes me back, and instead of going to the air sweeper and air defense, it pushes me around the outside, and now the air defense uh, has completely locked onto my balloons and is taking all of them out. And the unfortunate part about that is I used a rage and a heal in that area where the air defense or the air sweeper pushed me out of. So I wasted two spells there. If I had held on to those spells, that probably would have made a big difference. But trying to approach the air sweeper from the front just poses problems. Go on to get us a, a little bit more percentage in this raid, but because the air defense is still standing, no go, guys, no go. So last example here: Drag Luna Town Hall 8. This one's a little bit different as far as the layout's concerned, and I wanted to show you guys this for one reason. Air defenses typically are a little more concentrated in the middle of the base at Town Hall 8. 
In this particular raid, we have air defenses that are way out on the outside, and how do you deal with that as a, you know, a Dragloon attacker? Because if you come from all at one side of the base, you've got two air defenses to deal with on the back side of the base, no matter where you come from. So what I like to do is split the loons that you have, take your five max loons in the CC, four uh, loons in your army camps, and you're going to send in drags on one side, uh, just like you normally would, with loons backing those up to take out the air defense. On the, uh, the opposite side, you want to take out um, the building with the CC balloons. I'll show you that in just a second. So which side do we attack from? in this particular base it's an easy decision guys Ooh, gorilla empire new sub welcome to banger nation man you are today's sub of the day thank you so much for the support of the channel that being said if you guys haven't subscribed yet feel free to subscribe to the channel if you catch me live making a video you will appear right up there on the top left and uh be joining the banger nation live in front of everybody so thanks again guys for the support of the channel if you're new here please drop that sub it would very much help the channel and you'll be seeing some more clash of clans content soon that being said which side of the base here do we attack from? Top left is the most appropriate because this guy right here is pointing to the bottom right. So top left is where we want to go and we're going to start with the King Funnel. What I want to do is isolate the Archer Tower here, uh, right here, with a Dragon. So first I clear out the pathing to that building. The reason I'm doing this is because I ultimately want a direct shot here to the air defense with my balloons. That is the goal. Same thing is happening on the other side. I'm opening up pathing here. Um, I did kind of make a mistake here with my balloons. I drop in my dragons. Everything's looking good to go. I fat fingered my balloons over here behind the dragon when I wanted to drop them on the bottom right to target this air defense. So I made up for it with my rage spell. Um, I send in a couple direct target balloons here. You're gonna notice a, an off skewed rage spell here. There it is, catches the outside of my uh, my balloon, it is down. And then same thing on the other side, I've now got a direct target here with my balloons. And they're going to go all the way around the ring on the outside here. Uh, this is by design, I wanted them to kind of take out everything. And then notice there's only air defense on the back side of this base. So I'm going to hold on to my spells and just kind of wait to see how this develops. Here's the heal spell, making sure all these balloons are full health before they go into the air defense. And I'm waiting right now to see if I need a rage spell. I decide to hold on to it, um, but it looks like we do get a nice split on those balloons. We get damage all the way to that backside. Air defense, it goes down, and now I know I have my final rage spell. I'm able to use that in the core. That's where all of this high you know, hit point storage is. So we drop the air defense there. The dragons start to get into it and go ham. Uh, we've got dragons on the outside. This ends up getting taken care of, no problem. But again, not perfect execution there on the attack, but you guys get the uh, the point where you split your balloons a little bit and take on two of those air defenses at the same time, leaving only one for the backside. And normally, if you're patient with your spells, uh, you can actually save your spells for either your balloons or your dragons as they approach the final air defense to make sure that they're either full health heading into it or you can use a rage to get them through the surrounding area much more quickly. That being said, guys, that has been your Dragloon Guide for Town Hall 8. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to hit the like button if you did, and let me know what else you would like to see at Town Hall 8. I did do some mass hog rider raids today as well. We might see something on that in the near future. Uh, but again, Town Hall 8, it's not as difficult by any stretch of the imagination as 11, 10, and 9. Uh, but there has been so many requests lately that I wanted to make sure that I'm not ignoring uh, a substantial amount of the people that are watching the channel and uh, trying to learn how to play the game better. So there it is, guys. That's all I have for today's episode. This is Power Bang. Make sure you guys sub to the channel and you guys will see some more Clash of Clans content soon. Signing off now from my hotel room in Supercell Headquarters, Helsinki, Finland. This is Power Bang. Catch you next time.